Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to learn about time variant and time invariant systems. Okay, so time variant and time invariant systems. If you are first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and encourage me to do more videos like this. So time variant system is also called as shift dependent systems and time invariant systems are called as shift invariant systems. Shift means here time shift. Okay, shift means time shift. Right. So which type of systems are said to be time variant or time invariant systems? So any system, any system whose input output characteristics, whose input output characteristics does not vary with time, does not vary with time is called as time invariant system, time invariant system okay so if any system any system whose input output characteristics vary with time vary with time then such type of systems is called as time variant systems okay so what does it mean time invariant input output characteristics does not vary with time so if uh, input x of t is there and correspondingly you have the output y of t is there so the shape of output depends only on the shape of input the shape of output does depends on the shape of input only but not on the time at which it is applied that means if you apply the input x of t okay and you are getting output y of t and you are applying the this input x of t at some other instant that is say some after 5 seconds let it be after 5 seconds that is x of t minus 5 you are delaying it by 5 seconds so if you are delaying the input by 5 seconds the output should also be delayed by 5 seconds the output should also be delayed by 5 seconds that is shape of input depends on shape of sorry shape of output depends on shape of input but not on the time so it is it is not depending on time so if you shift the input the output is also shifted by the same amount okay such type of system is called as time invariant system okay so in order to find the time invariance we are following the same steps if you understand this we are following the same steps here okay in step one in step one what we are going to do is we are going to shift the input shift the input by t seconds so like this we are shifting the input by t seconds so we are getting x of t minus we are taking x of t minus t that is wherever you are finding you are having x of t replace it with x of t minus t okay only input by t seconds shift only input by t seconds only when you find wherever you find x of t you have to replace it with x of t minus t okay right so let that output be let that output be y of t comma t okay so you are shifting the input and making that output as y of t comma t okay corresponding output own shifted output we are taking it as y of t minus t next step to shift the entire output shift the entire output by the same amount t that means wherever t is there you have to replace it with t minus t okay because uh, some y of t is equal to something into a transformation on x of t will be there 
okay some transformation on x of t will be there so y of t minus t if you want if you want to shift if you want to find the shifted output then you have to replace t with t minus t okay so this is transformation of x of t minus t right shift the entire output by t seconds and let that output be y of t minus t so okay this one okay so i'm taking the shifted output i'm taking the shifted output and i'm assuming it as y of t minus t here it is 5 seconds if these two are equal shifted input the output of the shifted input the output of this shifted input is equal to the shifted output the output of shifted input is equal to the shifted output then we can say that it is time invariant system that is y of t comma t is equal to y of t minus t in this case so in the second case i am taking it as y of t minus t in the first case i am taking it as y of t comma t so if both are equal then we can call it as time sorry time invariant system time invariant system if y of t comma t is not equal to y of t minus t then it is called as time variant system time variant system okay so this is the procedure which we follow remember this so first step x of t only x of t wherever you find x of t you have to replace it with x of t minus t and take that output as in the place of y of t just replace y of t comma t and now shift the entire output by t that is wherever small t that is time axis uh, is there you have to shift it by t minus t okay wherever t is there you have to replace it by t minus t okay so and keep that output as y of t minus t if both the in outputs which are obtained in step 1 and step 2 are equal then it is time invariant system if both are not equal then it is time variant system okay so now we'll solve some of the problems so that you'll understand the concept very clearly suppose In the first problem y of t is equal to t into x of t plus 6 okay this is the uh, system equation given for you and ask it to find whether the given system is time invariant or time variant you have to find right so what i have told you for in the step 1 step 1 wherever you are having x of t replace it with x of t minus t and replace y of t with y of t comma t okay and its corresponding output i am taking it as y of t comma t this is step 1 so y of t comma t is equal to t into x of t minus t because in the place of x of t i am substituting with x of t minus t plus 6 okay let this be equation number 1 in step 2 what i am telling you so you have to shift the total output that is wherever small t is there wherever small t is there you have to shift it by t or you have to replace it by t minus t okay you are shifting the entire output entire output you and you are shifting so t is replaced by t minus t right so and that output y of t is replaced by y of t minus t okay so t is here and t minus t you have to replace so y of t minus t in this case is equal to so here t is there so i am replacing with t minus t and here x of t is there i am replacing with x of t minus t plus 6 so let this be equation number 2 so from equation 1 and 2 both are not equal yes or no so both are not equal that is y of t comma t is not equal to y of t minus t therefore the system is time variant system it is varying with respect to time so it is a time variant system okay so if the coefficients are functions of time so if the coefficients are functions of time always the system is time variant system suppose in the same example if you are given with y of t is equal to 2 into x of t plus 6 where 2 is a constant where 2 is some constant okay so coefficient here is a constant and coefficient here is a function of time 
yes or no so for coefficient here is a function of time and coefficient here in the second case is a constant if the coefficients are constant then it is obviously a time invariant system if you want you can find and you will get it as time invariant system only okay this is the main thing which you have to remember if the coefficients of any given system is a function of time then it is a time variant system if the coefficients of any given system is a constant then it is a time invariant system okay suppose we'll take another example y of t is equal to e power x of t y of t is equal to e power x of t so step one y of t comma t is equal to e power x of t minus t and step two wherever t is there you have to replace it with t minus t so y of t minus t is equal to e power x of t minus t so here only t is there i am replacing with t minus t so if you observe both are equal therefore y of t comma t is equal to y of t minus t therefore system is time invariant time invariant that's all because the coefficient here is uh, coefficient here is a constant uh, the coefficient of x of t here is constant which is multiplied by 1 so it is time invariant suppose you have y of t is equal to e power t into x of t where the coefficient of x of t is now multiplied by t which is a function of time then it is again time variant system very simple if the coefficients are multiplic multiplications of functions of time then it is time variant if the coefficients are constant it is time invariant system suppose y of t is equal to x square of t x square of t even though it is x square of t or x of t no problem the coefficient here is 1 that is coefficient is a constant so coefficient is constant then simply we can say that it is time invariant system time invariant system okay similarly y of t is equal to sine of x of t so here also the coefficient is 1 here okay so it is time invariant system only time invariant system only okay so here y of t is equal to x of 2t scaling even though it is scaling the coefficient here is 1 so still it is time uh, sorry scaling is no no scaling is there so y of t sorry it is not time invariant system the coefficient here is uh, y of even though the coefficient here is 1 but inside it is multiplying with this so y of t comma t is x of 2t minus t so wherever uh, you have x uh, so you are going to shift the input by t seconds so x of 2t is the input now so it is shifted by t seconds so you will get x of 2t minus t similarly y of t minus t so replace t by minus t so x of 2 into t minus t you will get because t is replaced by t minus t so you will get like this so this becomes x of 2t minus 2 capital T so if you observe both are not equal therefore y of t comma t is not equal to y of t minus t therefore the system is time variant time variant so this is how we are going to find x square of t is a time invariant only okay suppose um, you are having x of t sorry y of t is equal to some x of t into cos 3t here x of t is a uh, input which is multiplied by a function which is again a function of t it is again a function of t therefore it is again a function of t that is the coefficient here is multiplied by some cos function which is again a function of t therefore it is a time variant system time variant system sorry here only I have done the mistake so 
time scaling is there so time scaling is a time variant function because you are scaling in time so it is time variant only okay so this is how we can find whether the given system is time variant or not okay